Yeah, hi guys and welcome back. We're into August 2022 at the moment and uh, once again we're looking at the new releases from the Perth Mint. It's been quite a busy uh, month for the Mint, a lot of new coins produced, so let's start uh, taking a look at that. The first coins up are the 007 coins. Now I'm not really inter interested in these ones, they've been putting out quite a few of these lately, but um, I haven't gone down that path. This coin here though, this is the um, annual Opal coin that uh, they've been producing for some years now. Um, this has come out, but um, unusually this year, though, it's only the gold coin that has the Opal in it. Now this year the silver coin has another mineral in it called um, Lepidolite. Now I've never heard of this before, but apparently it's a, um, a lithium bearing mineral. And I, I can only assume that the relevance for that is that um, the main lithium bearing mineral that uh, is mined is spodumene and the world's largest spodumene is uh, just a short distance south of here so um, maybe that's the link maybe it isn't I don't know but this is the coin uh, the great southern land normally opal now something else coin the minute on this one is 5,000 and I've got to say that the um, this particular mineral isn't as exciting as the opal. You don't get those flashes of uh, red and green that you would in, a, in an opal coin. But anyway, it has been very popular locally. And uh, again, you see uh, Australian uh, fauna portrayed around the edges. Very nicely done, though. Really nice coin. It's a proof finish. But I would have preferred the opal. Anyway, so that was the first one up. The next coin that I picked up um, was two of, the, two of the swans. This is the first one. This is the coloured version of this year's bullion swan. Um, by the way, there was another dragon variant coin produced, a two ounce coin, but I didn't pick this up. I've got rather enough antique dragon coins at the moment, but it looked very nice. So, so this particular swan coin is a coloured version of the bullion, as I've said. And um, here it is. Here's the presentation box. And here is the coin itself. The mintage on the coloured, this coloured coin is only one and a half thousand. And they'll probably be popular. So this is not a proof. It is a BU, brilliant uncirculated, uncirculated coloured coin. But uh, it's quite nice. So there's the coloured. And there's the bullion. But the coin, the swan coin that I was really waiting for was the... Um, was the proof. It's not listed in this book. But here is the proof coin, out of box, and the coin itself. The mintage on the proof coin is two and a half thousand. But I always like the proofs, they're always beautiful coins. That mirrored finish. finish. You're getting the condensation from my hands there. There we go. Probably sure of worn gloves, but um, all these things are encapsulated. So again, there's the bullion and there's the proof. Nicely done. Um, I do have another proof coin. Here's one from uh, Proof Swan. This one's 2018. So there's a 2018 and a 2022 Proof Swan. Nice coins. Okay, but something I was really excited to pick up um, this or this week was one of the new tigers. And I've, I did the review on the tiger almost a year ago now when it first came out. I never liked the silver version. This is actually the one ounce silver tiger with dragon privy. But the gold coin is rather nice. Here is a Two ounce gold tiger. 
I really like the image on this one, much better than the silver. But the price of gold is relatively low at the moment, and the cost of a bullion coin like this is more or less the same as a bullion bar of gold. So here we are, the two ounce Lunar Tiger gold coin. Ain't that pretty? Very nice. And I picked up a little case for it as well. Um, finally, in terms of the proof coins, is the Brumby. Now, we've looked at the Brumby before, but once again, this is the proof version of the Brumby. There's the outer box, and here's the coin itself. Mintage on the proof coins is 1000. So this is again a 2 ounce proof coin and it's absolutely beautiful. I love these 2 ounce high relief proof coins. So again there's the high relief proof and there's the um, normal bullion and you can see the difference there in the quality just stunning and finally just taking a look at the new um, bullion releases from the Perth Mint now neither of the two coins I'm showing you or about to show you now were made available within Australia so much to my uh, frustration these had to be purchased um, from the other side of the world so this is the Athena and most of you would have seen this now so we've We've had the Athena, and before that was Hera, good old Hades, Poseidon, and the first coin in series, Zeus, from 2020. I'm not sure if there's any more coming now, but that there's the five that are out at the moment. And of course they came in an antique version as well, which I don't have. Um, and I think there was a larger version as well. The other new bullion coin to come out from the Perth Mint, not made available in Australia, was this one, the uh, Pirate series. It's the latest one, the Rising Sun. Of course these um, only have a very small mintage, I think it's about 5,000 or something. It's um, very small, they tend to get snapped up and... Um, they rise very quickly in value. There's the latest one, there's the previous one, the red flag. The one before that, the Royal Fortune. And the first in series was Queen Anne's Revenge. The, um, I think the Apmex price on this coin at the moment, if they've got it, is about $140 US. It's certainly gone up from the 30 something dollars that it would have been sold for originally. But there's the um, the Pirate Coin series. They've been very popular. That's it from me today, guys. All the best. Speak to you soon. Bye.